Hi, this presentation introduces you to the educational concept used in our VLC on campus classes. On campus means that a class at some stage involves in class activities on a real campus. However, in contrast to traditional educational scenarios, our concept is based on a special concept of digital content delivery and a new approach towards these in-class activities. This presentation will illustrate how we combine our idea of digital teaching and learning with in-class activities. The backbone of our educational concept are the classes on the Virtual Linguistics Campus. Currently, we have classes from all areas of linguistics, ranging from theoretical to applied linguistics. We have practical classes that introduce you to linguistic fieldwork, plus a large number of classes in web and language technology. Using any of these requires that you have a Virtual Linguistics Campus account and that your class instructor has assigned you to your VLC class or several of them. And when you are logged in, you will find your class or your classes on your personalized VLC class start site. Apart from other options such as the e-assessment showcase or the e-lecture library, to name just two of them, or additional options that concern your account and your profile, your VLC start site displays the classes for which you have registered. Let us assume it's just one class. The class Phonetics, Phonology and Transcription. A simple mouse click on the class name leads you to the class start site. On the class start site you have several links that inform you about general class related aspects such as information about your instructor, a link to our shop where you can order the workbook, class related dates and deadlines and so on and so forth. Central to each class however are the units. Each class consists of a predefined number of units. In the case of this particular class we have one introductory unit and 12 e-learning units. The introductory unit, the so-called class preliminaries, is mainly a textual repetition of what I'm explaining in this video. The e-learning units contain the content of the class. And this is the point where we have to talk about our educational model. The educational model or e-teaching concept can be defined as follows. The whole class is organized in such a way that the e-learning units deliver the content of the class and serve as a prerequisite for our in-class meetings. The in-class meetings follow and now serve a different purpose with the emphasis on practicing. This approach that flips or inverts the phases of content delivery and practicing is referred to as the inverted classroom model. Alternative terms for this model are flipped classroom, a term that is especially used in the context of the North American high school. But how does this model really work? To understand it, let us first of all look at traditional teaching. In traditional teaching, Content delivery and content acquisition are realized in class where several dozens of students have to gather at the same time to be entertained by their teacher. In a second phase, students practice on their own on the basis of additional exercise material, homework task, etc. The inverted classroom flips or inverts these two activities. So let's do it. Content acquisition is now self-guided, takes place first and is done online. The additional 
in class phase is dedicated to practicing, rehearsing, discussion, analysis, etc. This means prior to each in-class meeting students must have worked through the online content of the respective unit. How does this work on the Virtual Linguistics Campus? Well, let's discuss that. In Phase 1, that is, the phase of content delivery and content acquisition, you are now the autonomous learner. You will be given the content by means of an e-learning unit. This contains the content you have to go through prior to each in-class meeting. The content of an e-learning unit is multimodal. It involves all sorts of channels. In all our VLC classes we supply you with highly interactive multimedia content, the so-called virtual sessions. In addition to this, you can watch our e-lectures. These are never longer than 20 minutes and are closely connected with the virtual sessions. Furthermore, we have our optional workbooks. They supply you with the text material of each unit, but not with any other media, and give you the opportunity to supplement the text with the online content. This combination of multimedia, video and text is unparalleled in the world of e-education. Let us look at an e-learning unit in more detail. All e-learning units on the Virtual Linguistics Campus have the same structure as far as their unit start site is concerned. Thus, they have the same navigation menu on the left. Well, here it is. This is the navigation menu, which is the same for all e-learning units. The link introduction refers to the start screen where the central goals and topics of a unit are listed. The introduction is always displayed when you load a unit start site. The virtual session is the heart of an e-learning unit. It presents the content, so a click on virtual session opens a new site which contains the content of the unit. If you click on worksheet, an interactive exercise that is presented and evaluated by the computer will be shown. And the link practical over here loads a set of questions and tasks about the virtual session that are associated with model solutions. Let us look at these main components of an e-learning unit in detail. Here is the virtual session for the unit phonetics. In each virtual session you find a link to an e-lecture that can also be seen independently on YouTube. Now here is the link that loads the e-lecture phonetics an overview. As a special service for the VLC community members you can also access the board content that was generated on the active board behind me during the production of the respective e-lecture. So here is the link towards the board content. And then there are additional exercises that can be loaded via the interactive tutor. So content acquisition or if you wish studying the content of a unit means first of all go through the content of the virtual session where you can also use a set of guiding questions for help and also watch the e-lecture video. Furthermore you can use the tests in the interactive tutor that are part of the virtual session and optionally you can supplement your workbook if you want one with the missing information. Well and this is one possibility of studying. Workbook plus e-lecture on a smartphone. This is what our students do. And the important point, there is no pressure. You can do everything as often as you like and wherever you like. And once you're ready, and once you've understood it all, submit the ungraded worksheet and attend your in-class meeting. The in-class phase 
however, is now no longer any sort of frontal teaching. So this here is clearly out. Instead, the central, you might still want to call it teaching method, is that of a cooperative interaction between instructor and students. Honestly, for us it doesn't make sense to teach in the traditional format anymore. Why should we simply repeat what's in an e-learning unit anyway? So what we do in class instead is practicing, discussing problems, analyzing data, well all those things that you would have done on your own at home without any assistant. Now we do your homework in class. We discuss problems with you and collaborate. Thus you often have in class scenarios like these. Well and this is what happens in class. The instructor provides help, support, gives advice and the students work on specific tasks. So this is a typical in-class scenario in the inverted classroom where frontal teaching, well, that's truly out. Well, and how do we make sure that you do everything we want you to do in phase one? the phase of content acquisition and content delivery? How do we make sure that you really go through the e-learning unit, the e-lecture, the tutorial tasks prior to the in-class meeting? Well, for this purpose we have our formative electronic assessments, the so-called worksheets. The worksheets are important tools for us instructors to find out whether you have mastered the online content or not. They can be used via the link worksheet on the unit start site and take up the content of the virtual session and the e-lecture of a unit. They ask some randomly chosen questions about it but are not graded. They only have to be passed. And if you don't pass them in a the first attempt, don't worry. You can try as often as you like and no one will notice. Only if you pass a worksheet and submit the result, that is, you have to press this button, then your successful attempt will be stored in the VLC database. And as an instructor, let's assume I'm the instructor, then I can easily find out about your performance. A quick look into the class-related database provides me with all necessary details and determines the organization of my in-class phase. For example, if students had trouble with the worksheet, didn't hand it in, and possibly the worksheet was too difficult, well then I can assume that we have to repeat a lot in class plus trouble plus repetition. If by contrast all students or the majority of students pass the worksheet, we won't repeat. Maybe just a little bit. But the focus of our in-class meeting will then be practicing discussion and analysis. Well and if we're somewhere in the middle, well then we will do both. So the worksheets are formative assessments in the true sense. Their results shape the organization of the in-class phase. But they can also be used to generate grades, in which case we refer to them as graded worksheets. Graded worksheets are electronic tests where you only have one attempt. And the computer will evaluate your performance and generate a grade. They are more complex than simple worksheets. They may involve e-tests such as phonemic transcription, selection tasks, input tasks, etc. They may be connected even with an external data sheet and additional questions as input tasks and so on. Graded worksheets can be submitted at any time. During or at the end of the e-test, a simple click on the submit button will do the job. Well, to be quite honest, I wouldn't submit this worksheet with only three or 15 sentences analyzed. I'd rather press no and continue. Last but not least, 
Each e-learning unit is connected with a practical sheet where additional questions have to be solved. These questions, which are also part of the optional workbook, are paired with model solutions that can be retrieved according to a predefined rhythm. Let's assume your class operates in a weekly rhythm, then once a week you will find after the expiration of a deadline these symbols and clicking on any of these little symbols will display a model solution which can be a textual explanation, a diagram or as in this case a short video that explains the problem. Well and if you wish you can support your learning activities with the class related workbook. Instead of printing out the hypertext of a virtual session, which is possible, students often prefer to have the content of a class in print. That's why many classes are connected with a workbook. Here it is. The workbook contains the textual content of the virtual sessions of a class in a non-hypertext format and it contains a number of empty slots and boxes which have to be filled with the online content. For this reason our workbooks use a special system of symbols indicating where the online material can be found. The most important of these symbols is this one here. Now this symbol tells you that you have to supplement the missing information in the workbook with the online content. In other words the workbook makes you work, allows you to add notes. It's not just a reader. It is an efficient additional method of studying on the Virtual Linguistics Campus for those learner types that do not like reading text on screen. And what about the role of your class instructor? Well, first of all, the class instructors on the Virtual Linguistics Campus are all professional linguists with a profound background in teaching linguistics and web technology. However, we all have completely changed our role. We do not deliver content in the traditional way anymore. Rather, instead of teaching, we supervise your activities, we try to motivate you to do your tasks in time, and we make sure that everyone is served as well as possible. As class instructors, we now have all the time to do more efficient things with you, beyond mere content delivery, or, as my German colleague from Bielefeld, Jörn Löwischach, says, Time in the classroom for group work, for discussions, by having the students watch videos up front, so I, that I can simply skip the frontal part of the lecture. Well, the same applies to me. So, in accordance with Alison King, who predicted a radical change of education in the 21st century, we can clearly say, we are no longer sage on stage, but guide on the side. And what about the costs, the class fees? Well, that depends on your own university. Students at Marburg University do not have to pay anything at all. If you want to join them, no problem. Do the class online. Content delivery and content acquisition, worksheets and the like are online anyway. We will then charge you 50 euros for the registration at the University of Marburg. These registration fees give you the status of an online guest student at Marburg University and only have to be paid once per term, irrespective of how many classes you take. For the classes themselves, we charge you 15 euros per credit. The credits are awarded in accordance with the European Credit Transfer System, that is, one credit is the equivalent of 30 hours workload. So for a four credit class such as phonetics, phonology and transcriptions, the fees are 50 euros registration plus four times 15 euros for the four credits, in other words a total of 110 euros. And what do you get as a reward? Well, you get classes that are quality assured and up to date. You get classes that combine all modern digital media. 
you get classes that support learners of all types most efficiently. Learners who like reading, learners who enjoy watching video material and learners who like using interactive multimedia. And you get instructors who are guides of your learning process, who do not teach in class but work with you in class, who have time for you to support you and provide you with individual help. So we invite you to join us in one or several of our on-campus classes. The material that has been created by the Marburg Linguistic Engineering team is there. The rest is up to you. So, see you soon.